Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. What's good? We're back for another showcase with the unit with max level links. I actually grinded through the uh, link skill levels for this guy last month, but just never came around to uh, doing a showcase for this unit. So finally getting around to it, of course, with this type of unit, it's got to be on Extreme Super Battle Road, the Extreme uh, Int versus Super Tech setting. Uh, let's just go ahead and talk about the unit because it is actually quite useful in terms of you know the super battle road setting or any any event where you're facing multiple enemies. So of course this is the uh, Extreme Z Awakened Extreme Intelligence uh, Raditz unit. Uh, leader skills low class warrior category key plus four HP attack or HP and defense increases 60% attack increase of 100% or intelligence type key plus three HP attack and defense increase of 50%. With the super attack, will cause supreme damage to all enemies and lowers defense. With the uh, passive skills, an attack and defense increase of 80% at the start of the turn. Key plus 6, attack and defense increases 60%. Super type enemies, attack and defense minus 10% when facing two or more enemies. So, of course, this is why I wanted to test this guy out on the extreme super battle road setting because, you know, otherwise, like infinite Dragon Ball history or whatever, like, the, most of the time you're only facing one unit, so. Of course, with that being said, this is the ideal setting for that. Now, with the max level links, you're looking at um, Saiyan Lineage is key plus 2, attack and defense increase of 5%. Uh, Saiyan Warrior Race is attack increase of 10%. Coward is key plus 2, and chance of performing a critical hit increased by 5%. Brutal Beatdown is attack increase of 15%. Nightmare is attack increase of 15% as well. Prepare for Battle is key plus 2, attack and defense increase of 5%. And Shattering the Limit is key plus 2, attack and defense increase of 5%. Uh, this guy's on 4 categories. It looks like Low Class Warriors, uh, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, and Terrifying Conquerors or Conquest of Terror. Uh, at 100% potential with the EZA, you're looking at HP of 10,548, attack is 14,404, and defense is 8,359. 12 key multiplier is 140%. Again, for the team setup itself, uh, this is on, of course, with the um, LR Cell lead. So you've got the Cell or Android slash uh, Cell Saga boost, but you also do get that secondary of extreme intelligence type units get that 120% uh, boost as well to HP attack and, and defense. So you're not getting the maximum boost off of Raditz with the setup, but even with that being said, it's it's still a pretty good setup. I mean, the, the overall team performs very, very well, and he gets a big enough boost to where you can actually, you know, apply some decent damage across the board. So, um, you've got a couple of units like the Paragus and Pega uh, not <laughs> Pegasus. <laughs> it's Friday, man. Paragus and Broly, and also you've got the uh, uh, Int version of Turles. Now, Turles, man, I I really w wish he would get an easy A at some point because he could, he, with an up, upgrade to stats, like that guy could be amazing with the built-in skill sets for, you know, high chance to uh, stun the enemy as well as, you know, providing a, a passive support to extreme type allies. So maybe one of these days we'll see that happening. I don't know. We'll, you know, eventually that'll happen. But uh, point being, those units do link up pretty well with the uh, Raditz unit. You've got other units like the Meta Cooler that also provides a uh, pretty good support overall, and I think you know there's enough uh, links shared between the group of, of the two units where it does benefit having it on rotation as a floater at the very minimum. Of course, you know you have your solid units like Janemba and LR Cell linking up. I mean that that rotation actually works out pretty well because you know Janemba. I mean there's nothing to be said outside of you know phenomenally good uh, attack and defense and, and whatever so evasion built in and, and whatnot LR cell does link up relatively okay with the unit so I think that rotation works out you know pretty decently so yeah I mean this team build is itself is a, a very very smooth type deal where everybody runs efficiently and, and you know across the board it, it kind of uh, balances out you know everybody has their built-in skill sets to you know what they need to do and and uh, it works out pretty well so I guess in this rotation here, we're just going to leave Paragus and Broly on the uh, supporting uh, third slot as a floater, and then we'll just keep Turles. Maybe he'll stun Goku here. That way, you know, we'll still have two enemies active to where, um, you know, Raditz is, is taking full advantage of that passive skill. And, you know, honestly, like, it's, it's, it's certainly... Having units like this does make it a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's almost like, yeah, he's not 
phenomenal when it comes to like defending, but you know, attack output is good enough. Defense, you know, is, is okay enough to where, you know, you're you're in a decent shape uh, even without you using items or whatnot. And this is what I love about this team is if your HP drops below 30%, and in an extreme super battle road setting, that is likely to happen at some point multiple times. You have the ability to fully recover HP and and have uh, cell transform and and you know apply even greater damage to enemies and whatnot. Especially if you're able to get the ultimate attack. Uh, I guess quote unquote the uh, the active skill so it makes it uh, quite interesting and a lot of fun to run it well I mean we should be able to finish off Goku here I mean at the minimum and then you know start off with Raditz with multiple enemies in the next battle that way it's kind of a, a good ideal start the reason why I ended up uh, linking you know leveling up the link skills for Raditz is because initially going through the grind of you know, plus 23.8 for the link skill levels. I pretty much included as many AOE units as I could, at least one, you know, in the team at all times type deal. So of course you have the Dragon Ball Super Broly, you've got, um, I guess, LR Broly as well, and, and um, AGL uh, Final Form Frieza and whatnot. You have all these other units that provide, uh, you know, attack on all enemies, so it makes uh, the grinding a little bit easier. Raditz is no exception to that, so. That's why um, he's he's one of the units that um, were were the first to get the uh, the max level uh, link skill. So that's pretty much you know there's a little bit of lag of, of showcasing the unit itself on on a video, but yeah he's been uh, he's been max level links for a little while, and uh, you can kind of see you know the beneficial value of, of bringing this type of unit. You know it's it's certainly a good addition, especially from a a free to play standpoint to include this guy on a team. It's it's you know it's it's actually going to provide a lot of value to you. And keep in mind, this isn't with the uh, the maximum possible boost toward Raditz. You're you're only getting that 120% because, you know, obviously he's not part of the Android Cell Saga. So, even with that being said, I mean the guy's still pretty good on, uh, you know, this team build and, and works out pretty well. Sometimes it's not about you know getting the uh, the stats as high as possible. It's it's more or less just finding an overall good balance across the team, you know, across the board, and just making sure everybody. Uh, runs and runs smoothly and everything's fluid I guess in a way that's the most important thing I can't remember if this is the second or third battle probably the third at this point and then you know the fourth one's obviously the last one still plenty of items you know just to kind of test around and play with but um, yeah I mean we have the Monica item so ideally we'll uh, We'll use that coming up, um, and just you know make sure that uh, he's able to maximize the, uh, the the boost. But I can't remember if like things didn't work out. I, I think I was like trying to build up toward the Doka mode attack and have Raditz, um, you know, use that up. But I, I almost feel like looking back on it, I, I almost feel like another unit ended up you know taking that away from him. But we'll see what happens here shortly. Yeah, so when you're facing only one enemy, this is pretty much, you know, the type of uh, attack stats you're looking at, which isn't bad, you know, it's, it's certainly close to a million, which is, you know, more more than good enough for attack stats perspective, um, given, you know, the situation that he's in, but, yeah, it really does make uh, a lot of difference, especially, you know, again, when you're facing two or more enemies, you also, along with an attack and defense increase and also reducing enemies' um, attack and defense, you get a key boost of, of six as well, so it makes... Uh, not that it's really a problem, but it, it does make, you know, getting getting the super attack uh, quite a lot easier, I guess is the best way to put it. So we fully recovered HP going into the next battle and building up the Doka mode meter, so things are looking pretty good and, and smooth at this point. And, you know, again, we'll start off with Raditz on the rotation uh, against, you know, multiple enemies guaranteed, and that way, you know, the, the passive is, is fully fully active. I think this is like three enemies here. Yeah, so we've got Piccolo, Vegeta, and Goku. Uh, pretty good rotation overall. You know, you've got all the units uh, linked up, you know, providing uh, dip, you know, pretty good link sets across the board. We'll go ahead and use some items. Honestly, I should have probably used the, uh, the Monica items here, but I think I was being a little bit greedy where I wanted to, to use both of those when uh, the Dokkan mode was, was uh, filled up. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is, but I guess it more or less gives you a realistic perspective on how this guy performs without, you know, the usage of 
of the uh, the nuking item, so to speak. So I, I guess in that regard, it's okay. But yeah, I mean, it, well, I mean, look, you're averaging 1.3, 1.6 million with crits, um, and he's not even getting the full boost. So you know, it's 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 definitely a worthwhile unit to to go through the uh, the grind, especially if you're free to play and you're struggling with this type of setting. It's going to make life a little bit easier. Granted, you have some of the units on here as well, but Janemba is not that rare at this point. I mean, you can get it with the red coins or not red coins, but the red stones that get you know given out during certain celebrations and. You know, the uh, LR cell, I mean, he's been back on the banners a couple times, and, and as of late, people have been complaining about pulling too many copies of him, so I imagine a fair amount of people do have that unit. Um, outside of that, I mean, Paragus and, and Broly, uh, Turles, you know, those guys are pretty, I wouldn't say common, but you've had enough chances to be able to pull a couple of copies probably at this point, so it's, it's certainly somewhat of a realistic team, and, and you could probably replicate it if you're struggling, but... Yeah, Raditz is a, a very solid free-to-play unit, especially for the Super Battle Road setting. This is pretty much a run that, you know, kind of showcased it a little bit. I kind of wanted to show the full team instead of just highlights of Raditz. That way you kind of get, you know, the overall feel of, of the team itself. So, uh, with that being said, we'll go ahead and wrap things up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later. All right, peace out.